Law Warrior Mercenaries, Avanti's Angels, in the path of the tornado. Hired along with another independent mech warrior to protect the interests of a small corporation on the planet Garstedt, Marcus Giovanti had heard only rumours concerning an invasion from the periphery when Clan Smoke Jaguar hit the planet. Giovanti was dragooned into a DCMS ad hoc demi company, comprising three other corporate troops and one pest regulars retiree, commanded by a Sunjang cadet home on leave. The cadet found honourable death in a charge that almost destroyed the small command. Marcus managed to extract only himself, another corporate mercenary named Charlene Bosk, and the Pest retiree who died from his wounds soon after. One month later on the world of Schoiler, events repeated themselves with an eerie similarity. Still attached to the third Alshain regulars, Marcus and Charlene were ordered to form a second auxiliary unit from nine mech warriors who similarly had been pressed into service. This command was assigned to rearguard and diversionary duty, with no support or possibility of reinforcement. Marcus, who now understood the Curitan definition of auxiliary unit to be human sacrifice, used every trick and grabbed every battlefield advantage to keep his command alive. A battle-weary Taiai, Giovanti had led three surviving exhausted warriors off Schoiler when the call for retreat finally came. They were detached from the third Alshain to reform a new auxiliary unit at Geronimo and assist assist the 5th Galadon regulars in that planet's defence. Geronimo, Heine, Huazero, Asgard, Kanawit, the Angels were shoved off every planet they helped defend regardless of the preparations they made in the planet's defence. Stragglers from other shattered companies grafted themselves to the Angels, hoping to benefit from their knack for survival, but every battle claimed an equivalent price in equipment and lives. Command Marcus Giovanti leads the Angels, with Charlene Bosk acting as executive officer. Marcus comes from an influential merchant family from the Isle of Skye, and attended the new Avalon Mech Warrior Academy for two years. After falling out with his family, he broke off all ties to the Skye Giovantis and left the Academy, landing on outreach and working dead-end mercenary contracts such as the Guardstead Corporate Garrison Post. Marcus is officially listed as Commander of the Angels, but avoids wearing any official uniform or rank. They refused to sign away their tactical command rights, determined to never again serve as a sacrificial unit. They invariably win this contract point based on their excellent reputation. Available Forces and Organisation The Angels learned to be very flexible during those first hellish years of the clan invasion. They now train in tactical doctrine from single combat to six mech lances and can reorganise to any configuration mid-combat. The Mercenary Command boasts limited support, including a few armoured vehicles, some aerospace and infantry. Half their mechs are tried and true designs, but they did manage to salvage some clan tech weapons during battles they fought in early 3052, which they later adapted to their Inner Sphere machines. Between recently salvaged advanced tech and the functioning clan tech, they're considered 55% upgraded. Technical and Transportation Support As early as 3052, the Angels were building a decent technical support team. Marcus poached several veteran techs and one prominent R&D specialist from certain DCMS units that showed little respect for their technical staff. The Angels' high percentage of extended field campaigns requires a good tech staff in the field to keep their machines battle-ready. Their support level is rated at 80%. Avanti's Angels' dropship assets provide the unit with full transportation support. The upgraded Union class, Heaven Sent, serves as the unit's main deployment vessel. Their second dropship is a very old fortress primarily used as a mobile maintenance depot and for transporting the unit's dependents. The fortress is only held together through the skill of the Angel's technicians, and is generally kept as far from combat as humanly possible. Colours and Insignia Avanti's Angels adopted a pristine white paint scheme with silver trim after the Astrakazi campaign. Because they wanted their enemies to know who they faced, the text painted Marcus's Caesar with special care. They use a substance that creates a mother-of-pearl finish on the whole mech, then paint flames up the side of the legs. The finishing touches the name Archangel painted across the mech's front torso in gold. The command's insignia is a small, detailed portrayal of the fabled Greek character Icarus flying too close to the sun, painted on the battle mech's left shoulder. Mech names are painted across the torso, or on the upper left leg. Avanti's Angels Forged during the maelstrom of the clan invasion, the Angels first learned how to survive battles, and then win them. The Chaos March kept them busy for near a year until treachery on the part of the Farmer's Freedom Army of Aborus almost drove the Angels to ruin. 
in early 3058, they accepted an extended campaign contract from the Magistracy of Canopus that sent them to the periphery world of Astrakazi and into battle against a mysterious unit of high-tech battlenecks. Outside treachery and internal conflict almost split the unit, and would have left it stranded on this barbaric world if not for the strong will of Marcus Giovanni and the loyal devotion of certain warriors. The angels left Astrakazi with a re renewed sense of their identity and salvage of half a dozen new mechs that were easily restored. After a few contracted raids against the Marian hegemony, they returned to Outreach and picked up one of the last auxiliary contracts before being offered support for the Innisfere Offensive against Clan Smoke Jaguar. Dragoons rate them as B+. Officers Kailin Tanaga's real talent lies in communications. She is a valuable asset to the Angels, equally skilled at breaking an enemy's code and cutting off enemy communications. Because of her mech warrior skills being barely adequate, she drives a support mech, and is shielded from heavy combat when possible. The Angels retrofitted her archer with a state-of-the-art communication system, and she usually carries thunder munitions as the ground is much easier to hit. Until recently, Hanford the General Lee served the Federated Commonwealth for the rank of General. How he came to be working for the Angels is unknown, though Wolfnet speculates that the Angels rescued him after Fedcom forces left him behind in the first turbulent months of the Chaos March formation. Tactics The Angels specialise in infiltration, extraction, raiding, and other types of missions that succeed with a hit-hard and fade-fast approach. Keep the initiative, and you can dictate the battle. Marcus is quite fond of saying this. The Angels avoid defensive missions and anything remotely resembling a garrison assignment. In two years of running from the clans, the Angels have also learned to salvage on the fly. All Angel pilots are taught to crudely but quickly tear salvageable arms, legs, heads, or chunks of torso from fallen battle mechs for use by the unit's techs. The Angels often lay down thunder mines to slow advancing enemy machines, and hovercrafts can make them high-speed passes along the opposing line, one of them fitted with a C3 slave to provide improved long-range accuracy for a single lance. Companies. Avanti's Angels. Two companies, rated veteran and reliable. CEO of first company, Marcus Giovanti. Commanding officer, Kailin T Tanaga. XO, second company, Charlene Bosk. This unit is just shy of earning elite status. More than half of its mechs are older models, but there are two full lances of 3055 and 3058 vintage mechs. The unit's weight distribution is fairly classic. One lance light, one of fast mediums, three medium to heavy lances, and one assault. The unit constantly remixes the composition of the companies and renames lances to keep its working style from becoming predictable. The Angels own approximately 60 tons of clan tech weapons salvaged during the last year of the clan invasion, and also have a single C3 computer network brought into the unit by mech warrior Jace Torgensen. Angels Aerospace, their element commander is Nathaniel Klepper. The Angels acquired him during their contract with Canopus, and have since added another pilot to form a single aerospace lance. Some judicious horse training allowed them to acquire two old but serviceable Stingray fighters. Angel's Special Assault Force, with Commander General Hanford Lee. The Assault Force is composed of a single lance of armour and small detail of motorised infantry. The armour includes a pair of Savannah Masters, an old SRM carrier, and a new Saladin Assault Hover Tank. The veteran infantry train in everything from anti-mech tactics to general fire support to recon functions.